In this video, we're going to discuss MCP server and how you can get started. So what exactly is MCP? MCP stands for Model Contest Protocol, which is an open standard that enables AI system to connect and interact with external data. Through MCP, large language model like Cloud, GPT model can connect to external resources. So let's break it down. MCP has three different core components, and we're going to discuss each of these components. What is MCP host? The host is the environment where the LLM lives and interacts. There are custom AI agents or applications like Cloud Desktop or different IDEs like Cursor AI that leverage MCP to interact with external tools. Next is the MCP client. The client acts as the bridge between the host and capabilities provided by the MCP server. For instance, when your LLM wants to use a tool, like checking the weather or calling a script, it doesn't communicate directly to the tool. It actually goes through the MCP client. So now let's look at the last one, which is the MCP server. The MCP server is what gives the client access to tools, data, and prompts. It can connect to databases, APIs, local files, and expose specific functions to AI applications through MCP. Here's a diagram representation of how the components actually communicate together. Now we're going to look at something which is very important which is the MCP transport method. Transport in MCP provides the foundation for communication between the clients and the server. And the transport typically handles how messages are sent and received. So we have two different transport methods which we're going to discuss, which is the standard input and output and the streamable HTTP. The standard input and output is used for local integration, which is within the same environment. So we can say the standard input and output is mostly used for local setup. So if you want to run MCP server on your machine, what you're going to use is the standard input and output. While the streamable HTTP is used for network-based communication, it uses the standard HTTP post and get requests for its communication. The last thing on the list which you're going to discuss is the MCP contest type. First is the tools. Tools are functions that LLM can call to perform specific action. For instance, calling the Gmail API or running a SQL query. Next one is the resources. Resources are data sources that LLM can access. These are similar to get endpoints in a REST API. The last one is the prompt. The prompts are template message that guides the model's output. So you can use either of the tools, resources, and prompts when working with the model contest protocol. Now that we've covered the basics of the model contest protocol, let's move on to the practical part where we build a local MCP server. First, let's set up our environment or windows. To set up our environment, the first thing we need to install is the UV. So, and to install UV, you're going to use this command. So just copy, then you're going to open Windows PowerShell. Yeah, so just paste it here and you click enter. So I have UV on my machine. So if you see this particular error, which I have here on my machine, just ignore it. It's because I haven't configured some settings on my laptop. So whenever you click enter, you're going to install UV on your machine. Next stop is to install Cloud Desktop on your machine. To do that, you go to the browser, then you type download cloud for Windows. So the first thing that came up is you click on it, which is the cloud official website. And here you're going to click on Windows, so which is going to download for your Windows machine. Now we have both UV and cloud desktop on our machine. So we're going to go to VS Code and create a new project. In this project, we want to build an expense tracker MCP server which can help us in tracking our finances. Also, this server will interact with AI assistant, which is the cloud, you know, we downloaded cloud desktop earlier. So it's going to interact with cloud to perform different actions, like listing all our expenses, you know, adding new ones and so on. So first, um, we're going to create the project. So we say UV needs expense tracker. So we've initialized a new project. Now we're going to create a virtual environment inside this folder. So to do that, we do UV VNV. Then let's activate it. 
So under this virtual environment is where we're going to install all our dependencies. So we're going to install the MCP CLI and some other dependency here. Yeah, so just click enter. So we have everything now. We're going to click on the folder, so which is the expense tracker folder. So you can see what we have in here. So this is a VMV folder and this is a Python file. So this is where we're going to put in our scripts. So let's write our code. So let's import the MCP server. And let's initialize the server. So here is where we're going to pass in the uh, name of the server, so which is expense tracker. So I'm going to create a list of dictionary, which is going to contain the list of all my expenses. So we're going to have them by title, amount, and category. So let's create our first tool. So I'll say mcp.2. So this function, I'm going to call it list expenses. So the only thing I'm going to do here is just to return the expenses. While inside this function, I'm going to add a doc string. So this doc string is very important. So this actually helps the LLM to understand what the tool is used for. So let's add a doc string by saying get all recorded expenses. I'm also going to add a type in which show the results which I'm expecting, which is a list of dictionaries. So let's create the second tool, which is to hard expense. So we're going to have title, amount, and category as a parameter. So I'm going to add a doc string to this as well. So this expense is what we're going to add to the existing expense. So now let's create the last MCP tool which is for deleting, let's say we want to delete a particular expense by high D. So we look through the expenses. So let's check if the high D match any of the high D in our expense. So we're going to remove it. So we've done that. So, and um, if this was successful, she should return this and it was not, so it's return this. So we're going to add a type int, which is what we're expecting. So, and we're going to do that here as well. Now we're ready to run our server. So we have one more thing to do. So we need to um, specify that we are running on local. So by saying MCP run, then we're passing the transport type. To run this server with load, we need to add the configuration about this server to the Clo desktop config.json file. So instead of us doing that manually, I'm going to show us how you can do it directly on a terminal. So we're going to do uv run mcp install. Then we write the name of the file, so which is main.py. Then we click enter. Yeah, so it has successfully had the expense tracker to the cloud config file. So now we're going to open our cloud app. So we're going to send in our input. Now that we are on our cloud desktop, so I'm going to show you how you can navigate to the developer section and access the config uh, JSON folder. So you go to file, then you click on settings, then you go to the developer, then you click on edit config. So I'm going to click on this. So this is our expense tracker inside the config file. So just in case, if you had information into the config file while the cloud desktop was running, you will need to close the application and restart it all over again. And also ensure you come down to this particular tray and quit the entire application. So you rerun the cloud desktop. So I'm going to rerun it. So because if you don't do that, you might not be able to gain access to your server. So to check where our server is, we're going to come down to the search and tools. So here is our expense tracker tool. So you can see all the entire tool that we added earlier. So we have them here. So we're going to send in our inputs. 
and we actually expect it to use these particular tools. So I want to use the hard expense tool. So by saying um, I bought movie tickets, please add it as entertainment. So we can see that it actually added to the expense tracker information. So where to use the add expense tool. So I'm also going to send in another input. So let's see how this um, server actually performs. So I said for the new expense, which is um, 2,500 for internet in utilities. So let me send this. Yeah, so it has added those two different things. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask it to list all the entire expenses. Yes, yeah, so it's actually listed all the entire expenses that I have. So we can see everything that I've added previously and the new ones that I just added. So it has been added to the entire list. So let's say you want to test the server locally without using any large language model. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So we're going to go back to our VS code. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a certain command. So which is uv run cp dev main dot py. Yeah, so here's where you can also inspect your server. So I'm going to click on connect. From this interface, you can gain access to your resources, prompts, and tools. So I'm going to go to the tools tab. So here I'm going to click on list tools. So which is going to list all my entire tools. So you can see here we have the list expense, we have the add expense and the delete expense. So let's click on the list expense. So here you can see all the entire expenses here. So let's say you want to add an expense. So you can do that by adding it manually. So let's say I want to add something like um, movie tickets. And I'm going to click on run to, so which has added it. So, and if I click on list expenses, so I'm going to see the new thing that I just added, so which is here. So this is another way for you to inspect your server. This is the end of this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel so you can see related videos like this. Thanks for watching. I would love to see you next time.